Experience Corps offers you teams. They offer you camaraderie. They offer you getting together with people you like. They offer you having uh, happy relationships. My wife and I have built up a tremendous number of relationships over these years. Although we have other friends, both of our friends now in the volunteer area. Um. Yeah, I think that, again, it's a matter of expectations. You go in thinking, oh, here are these um, silver-haired ladies who uh, uh, you expect to be, I don't know, like my mother's friends, you know, interested in food and clothing and, and uh, homemaking aspects of the world. And then because of the way some of the, the um, training sessions with Experience Corps have been run, real political issues were raised about, you know, how do you deal with the kids in terms of their own, um, what they're getting from their families in terms of racism, in terms of homophobia and stuff like that. How are you going to deal with that? And it turns out that these folks are pretty political. You know, they, they, not that their politics agree with mine, but they're not what I would think of as, you know, sort of middle class ladies who, uh, who are very vague about politics. They have their politics and they have their, their belief system and they can talk about it and articulate it and discuss it and come someplace with it. You know, bring something to, well, what are we going to do with these kids? How are we going to, how are we going to, deal with these issues. None of our friends, except the friends across the hall, volunteer anywhere. Uh, most of them have grandchildren, and they're, now their efforts are put into that, you know. Uh, we have theater friends, uh, cabaret friends. We, we like to go to the plush room often. Really? And Yeah, yeah. Wesley Whitfield, um, a lot of people there. Yeah. We, we both like jazz, so that's, it. and I have another couple we do theater with, too, who live down the peninsula. But actually, uh, there's, 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 one there's nobody in the city anymore. You know, they're all in the burbs, and we're here in the city. We've tried the burbs, and it doesn't work for us, because if we get an urge to go out to a movie, it's right here, you know. Or to a show. Or to right a show. Or to a museum. museum right, right here. here. Yeah. These are the kinds of things we need to make life full for us. But I think that that's, that's a wonderful part of our lives. That we do have couples and friends who do these things, as opposed to these beers core people who mostly don't have enough money to do these things. But well, they don't really don't most, care. They don't care. That yeah. Most, many, many of our, we have multiple number of friends who we found through experience core who have remained our friends for years, like Eunice and Janet and Lydia Sahara. And that has, I think that has contributed to the joy of doing this. Most of the time we're sitting around the table, we come in, hello Mary, hello Betty, hello John, and you know, and then we get into it, the discussion of the piece of paper or whatever's happening. As far as like trying to cultivate a friend, it was not anybody I found that like, okay, I'm new, it looks like a good friend, let me zero in on them. And uh, so to tell you my relationship with the other volunteers, is, it's not that yeah. much. Sometimes the, the, the discussions, although they, people are a little bit leery about putting themselves out there completely, in terms of their beliefs. Uh, pretty good discussions, nevertheless, come out and, and uh, a sense, you know, when you look at somebody and say, wow, yeah, all right, there's somebody who's really grappled with these issues, you know. Obviously, a lot of the tutors are, are uh, also foreign-born or also Asian or, or Pacific Island or whatever. Um, so they have their particular historical, cultural things that they're bringing to it as well. It's, it's, it's actually very interesting. Much more, I think I said last time, you know, I came in interested in the kids, not interested in the other volunteers. And I'm still more focused on the kids, but any time there's a meeting with the other volunteers, I am constantly um, 
surprised with what they bring to a conversation. That, that the conversation may start out being um, on the surface and cliched and so on, and then somebody will say something real and the other people will react and all of a sudden it becomes a real discussion of whatever, you know, whatever the topic is.